This is Twit. You were talking about how uh, there's a public record at the county seat of everybody who's ever owned your house. There's yeah. a lot of public records, and there are companies out there who go around, send people to the county seats, record them, and put them online. So that a lot of people are quite shocked to learn if you search for information about yourself, you can find the home you own. You can find a lot of information. Uh, this is kind of a historic an historic problem. You can go to companies like Spokio and say, take me down. But there's so many of them, I, I, you could easily miss a few. It's easy, in other words, to dox someone or dox yourself. Google has announced that they are going to allow people to remove at least the Google search result for personally identifiable information from Google search. I think this is a, a good move. Uh, there is a lot of different kinds of information, obviously governmental ID numbers, bank account numbers, credit card numbers, pictures of your handwritten signature, uh, ID docs like your driver's license or passport, highly personal restricted and official records like medical records, personal contact info, including your address, phone number, and email address or confidential login numbers. This is uh, from a Google blog post on Wednesday. If you want to know more, uh, you can Google. Google's always had a set of policies to do this, but it sounds like this is a, a little bit easier uh, to do. Uh, thoughts, anybody? Uh, I, I think it's a, Tim Stevens. You've ever done a search for yourself on Spokio and been horrified? Uh, I have not actually, but uh, yeah, I definitely think this is a positive move. It'll make it easier for people to take uh, a first step to to keeping. You know, the basics of your information being easily found, I guess. To me, I think this is kind of like putting a cheap padlock on uh, something that you want to keep secure. It'll keep the honest people from from getting in there. But anybody who wants in, they're going to find a way. They'll cut the padlock off. Um, so, you know, that information will still be out there, obviously, and will be not that hard to find for people who know how to find it. Um, but it will at least keep um, people from who are only going to take the, you know, the, the the most basic steps in trying to find that information. It'll keep them from finding it easily. So I think that's a good thing. Yeah, why put it in the Google uh, search results? As Google points out, it doesn't take it off the net. You still have to go and you should go to the site if you can yeah. uh, to get it uh, removed. Um, anyway. Uh, I have a horror story about this. Do you? From uh, when we moved to uh, back to California from the U.K., you know, we had a half container and um, the customs broker requires your passport. So I sent them a copy of my passport and they put that with the way bill on the outside of the container. And there are people oh, who do no. market research uh, at the port of Los Angeles. Oh, no. Write down, all, transcribe all the all the way bills. They just so stand day, there I, writing it down. Yeah. So they're public records. Right. And so one day. Uh, someone, uh, I, one day for some reason I put my passport number into Google. Uh, I think I was just having a kind of paranoid moment and I found literally hundreds of websites that had my passport number and my home address linked together. Cause that's where the container was being delivered. So I actually have not used my home address for deliveries except for things like shipping containers for about 15, 20 years. Now I rent a post box down the road because I've had problems with stalkers and weirdos and whatever. And yet there are some things like you cannot have your <laughs> shipping container dropped off at the post box a mile away. You know, you, <laughs> you still have to get it home. And um, I never got rid of them all. Uh, we moved and my passport expired. Like that's, that's why I'm now Holy safe. Holy cow. Right? And uh, it's pretty bad. I, I have a, uh, a Google alert for my name and address. And whenever it pops up in a public search result, I, I go and ask the company to take it down. I do worry that if Google alerts were to leak, well, then that would expose a lot of my information. But if Google were to leak, it would expose a lot of my information anyway. So far, to my knowledge, Google has never had a breach. They're pretty good yeah. at protecting your information. Well, no, no. they were. I mean, they were breached by the Chinese government. Oh, well, that's uh, different. <laughs> ben, ben Laurie, the guy that I co-wrote that paper for Nature for, he yeah. ran the, the forensics on the Chinese state hack. Holy cow. Yeah. When was and that? And Google users get breached all the time. I, right. I just don't. I, and Google's had a bunch of insider through, attacks through their well. own through their own uh, errors or. Yeah, and then yeah. Google's had a bunch of insider attacks. Oh, they have. Yeah, where they've just had like people following around. Mostly, it's dudes creeping on women. Oh my god! All right. I mean, a lot of these companies have it. Google's got actually pretty good internal 
access controls and forensics, as I understand it. There was an amazing piece in Wired about how Amazon, in order to enable the agility of its teams, has no had no controls over making whole copies of all of their user and or merchant data and literally thousands of them were floating around within the company every team had its own local copy and there was no tracking and no forensics and they have tons of insider attacks they have people who are like selling to merchants how their rivals products were were performing and they had people who were creeping on customers and so on amazon's another one that i think a lot of people get delivered to their home and even if they have a mailbox because you know it's you order heavy things right it or big things oh yeah and, and so you know and what's the point of paying for prime and next day delivery if you have it delivered to a mailbox that you then have to drive to and you only go to once a day right yeah i have a post office box for the same reasons Corey. but i'm afraid my opsec is not great i have so much stuff delivered at home it's probably you can put your name you can do the put your name into into google with your address put an alert up that's it's not a terrible plan like i've 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 the only reason i'm talking about it in public as I've mentioned it to a bunch of security experts and none of them were like, you're doing what? That's crazy. Don't do that. <laughs> um, I know a security researcher who's a, a, at a high risk. He writes a lot about um, uh, carters, Eastern European carters, and he's had like heroin sent to his home by carters who then called the police. He's been swatted. Uh, and he, when he bought a home, um, registered an LLC out of state and then bought the house with his LLC so that it's there's it's not recorded the the deed recording just says that that there's an out of state LLC that owns it. So you put uh, in the search terms not just your name, you'd put your full address in the search your, term. Your home address, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do that. And then you get all the results. You can even get it as an RSS feed. So you just put it in your feed yeah. reader and, then, and watch the fun happen right in front of your very very eyes.